Practitioner C number three is differential diagnosis. Now, unfortunately, when we graduate from university, we don't have the luxury of possessing a mature inbuilt pattern recognition system. This is part of the art of clinical experience that is developed over years. What is important as a new grad clinician is that you try to prove your hypothesis wrong. And you do this via a set of clearing tests to ensure that you don't miss any important diagnoses. An example of this is with ankle sprains. We see the typical lateral ankle sprain where we get inversion and damage to the lateral ligaments, ATFL, CFL, PTFL, and then the syndesmosis injury that we see damage to the front, the AITFL, and the back ligament, PITFL, and maybe the interosseous ligament. Now we need to, it's important that we differentiate these two injuries as the rehab timeframes on these are vastly different. A lateral ankle sprain might be three to six weeks, whereas a syndesmosis sprain could be anywhere from six up to 16 weeks and may require surgical stabilisation. Head to our website www.clinicalxfoundations.com.au to read our latest blog on differential diagnosis and get some clinical tips on how you can differentiate syndesmosis from lateral ligament sprains of the ankle.